clean energy stocks. Clean energy is on the move, and we've been talking about it for at least a month. Do you own any of these stocks right now? Many people feel that clean energy is something to look forward to in the future. But it's moving right now. Why not make some money on it? If you haven't gotten into these stocks yet, I've got a little something to help you invest in this industry without much risk. If you want to learn about this bit of information, come check out this video. I am a huge huge fan of clean energy. It is an industry that I've been talking about here on Trending Thursday for a minute. It is a hot industry. And a lot of people want to say, well, you know, that whole clean energy because of oil and this something you look at for the long term. Bull. That's what I say. That way I don't say bad say words. I heard you say that before. Heard, you heard me say what? What you just said. About Yeah, you probably did. That people are looking long term saying that it's not time for a clean energy yet, which is like wind energy and solar energy and stuff like that. Listen, with the advent of the lower demand on oil right now, I think clean energy has got a little bit of a jumping off platform to start making some money. All right. Um, Canadian Solar is a stock. Says it started construction of the 10 megawatt. I don't know what that is, but it's German. Uh, power plant in Germany, which will be powered with more than 22.9K pieces of the company's high efficiency mono perk modules. That's a lot of pieces. All right. Canadian Solar says it is a turnkey solutions provider for the PV plant responsible for most of the project execution, including the design engineering. So this is just a way to help Canadian Solar uh, get bigger, all right? And man, Canadian Solar recently said it will pursue a listing of its modules and system business in China. Whoo-wee! Let me put that up there. Holy smoke! That could be a big boost in Canadian Solar's move. Keep that stock in play. Think about it. All right. Another stock that's in here is Solar Edge. Uh, it beat second quarter. So not only is the industry move, moving, a couple of the stocks, a few of the stocks that have reported are at a point where they're beating or meeting earnings expectations. Um, that's a good thing. So watch this. Let's go into my watch list again. Let's go. Notice that this list is sorted by our master indicator VST. What's the top stock in my watch list today? S-E-D-G, the number one stock in this watch list. How cool is that? And the other one is Canadian Solar. But I'm also going to put up something else here. I clean. I'm going to come back to that. All right, Sedge, which is trading at $204 with a value of $147. This is an overvalued stock. All right. Does it have good upside potential? Relative value at 1.35. Sure does. Is it a safe stock? Uh, relative safety at 1.36. This is a safe stock. Relative timing um, at 1.84. This stock is good all the way around. Good fundamentals moving up in price. Good CI, which means the stock goes up more than it goes down, with growing their earnings at a clip of 23% a year. I like Solar Edge. Canadian Solar, 25.53 with a value of. Uh, 2353 with a value of 2654. Very close. I'm going to call that fairly valued. Upside potential at 1.03. It's okay. It's above one, so it's favorable. Is this a safe stock? Not nearly as safe as Solar Edge. Relative safety on CSIQ is at 0.86. Below one, so it's unfavorable. But it's moving up in price. Uh, RT at 1.58. They grow their earnings at a clip of 6% a year with positive earnings. Not nearly as strong as Sedge. Again, SEDG is a good stock to keep your eye on. Now, if I've been talking to you about clean energy and that it's a good space to be in, how about playing one stock that plays the whole industry? That's where this ETF ICLM is good. This, my friends, is my stock pick of the week. ICLM. Because it's an ETF, price and value will be the same. RV and RS will be at one because it's hard to put a relative value and relative safety on an ETF that tracks either an index or a group of stocks. Is this in an uptrend? Outstandingly, yes, it is. No earnings, no earnings growth, 
Um, that's a really good play. Let's take a look at all three of these graphs. All right. I think that you're going to be pleasantly surprised with all three of these stocks. Sedge, coming off a level of support, the 3 and the 8 went up. How about the 3 and the 8 haven't crossed back down bearish? Leave it alone. RT above one. I'm picking up in, vol in volume right here. Down day to day. I always tell the folks, one day doesn't make a downtrend. How about here? It was up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. up, up, up. Up, down. Anyway, so the stock does exhibit some form, though, of a bearish reversal pattern right now with today's activity. It looks like a bearish harami. What do I need to confirm that move? I need to see another down day tomorrow. If I want to take some, if I own this stock, that's a good way to start thinking about taking profits. All right, that's one of them. SEDG, Canadian solar is really not as strong as SEDG, but moving up nonetheless from a bottom left, top right, pulling back a little bit, but sitting in a channel. It's always tough to play a stock that's sitting in a channel. Moving averages don't work nearly as well as a stock sitting in a channel. You have to use another indicator like RSI or stochastics to play the bounces off of support or the retracements off of resistance. But nonetheless, it is moving a tad bit sideways. RT is still above one. Volume is okay. Not perfect. This is my stock pick of the week. If you want to play the whole industry, the whole space, that is a beautiful graph. Bottom left, top right, look at the volume. There's a lot of movement in that industry. Folks, I will tell you, to keep your eye on, if you like the industry, keep your eye on that stock. Or look at, if you want to play an individual stock, SEDG might be the way to go. But clean energy, folks, is a beautiful way to go. I've got a clean energy watch list. I create that for you too. All right, clean energy watch list right now contains 29 stocks. And that it, look at that. How about I'm looking for the ones that have the most upside potential? There's Genco Solar at the top. There's Solar Edge up there as well. All right. If I'm looking forward to play the more aggressive side, let's sort this by RT. Same 29 stocks. Which is moving up the most? Plug, Nova, Run. Uh, we made some money in the Jockey Club on that stock too. But... I can take any of these watch lists and tailor make them to the way I want to play. I'm going to look at the safest ones, the ones that consistently meet or exceed earnings. Solar Edge back at the top again. So Solar Edge is a really good way to play uh, an individual stock in this space. Um, keep your eye on that. And guess what? It does have options. If you play options, uh, it does have options attached to it. I love this industry. I've loved this industry for the past couple of months. But again, don't forget, if you want to play the industry as a whole, you might really want to look at ICLM. ICLM. I'm going to add that in here into this list. I think I should. ICLM, which plays the whole industry. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? I There it is. Even sorted by relative safety. Let's sort this back by VST again. Let's see where it sits. Uh, it's further down the list, but that's a great way to play the whole industry. All right, any questions, Joey? When is a good time to get in on ICLM? Uh, look at the graph. Uh, look at right now, view the stock graph. What did I see on it? What's going on? So I'm going to get you guys into the habit of knowing when to pick, when to get into a stock. All right. I get that question asked a lot because people don't want to and, I, and if I step on some toes, get over yourself. You want the picks because if it doesn't work, you want to blame somebody. But if it does work, oh, that Glenn was a good guy. Don't care what you think about me being a good guy or not. I want to teach you how to do it on your, on your own because if I give you a fish, you'll eat for a day. If I teach you how to fish, you'll eat for a lifetime. What's the stock doing? Stock's moving up. You hit a new high today. What am I looking for? My regular people, what's a good entry point for this stock? Type it in the room. All right, I'm going to let them tell you when to get into the stock because they've learned what to look for before they get into a stock. Joey, somebody should be typing in the room something. All right, when, are you, when am I looking to get into this stock? Nobody said anything. How much of a... There you... No, not 12 cents. Stock is less than $20. So five cents above the high. Absolutely. You can look at any stock. Whoever asked me the question about when to get into a stock, you can look at any stock and make that determination off the high, off the most recent high to make sure you're buying into the stock that's rising. But again, I will always get that question asked. 
Don't be afraid. Don't shortchange yourself. You know the answer. Use what you've learned. That's why I'm here to teach. Any other questions, Joey? Um, clean energy, swing trade, or long-term hold? Ah, oh, man. Clean energy, swing trade, or long-term hold. Look at this industry as in the ETF. I like it as a long-term hold right now until that industry breaks down. Until that industry breaks down. Let's put it on a six-month graph. Back here during coronavirus early, yeah, it broke down. Clean energy wasn't the move. But how about utilizing moving averages along with RT, that indicator? Look at that right there. Look at that right there. How about RT went above one, three and eight went. Was that a good opportunity? Yeah. Look at that. And when it broke down, did RT break down behind it? No. Market or the uh, in that whole space just went sideways until right now. Yeah. I'm liking it longer term until this industry as far as the uh, ETF breaks down. Yeah.